for example, he came as he teach the people how to worship their God. Yeah. He teach the people to live a you know better life. He teach the God to follow the guidance of God, right? Yeah. So I don't and really subscribe to religion though. I what's, think I'm more like I would say that I believe in. Um, but you believe in one God. I believe not not in a particular religion, right? No, not in a particular religion. I would say I'm more. Uh, I believe in non-duality. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so according to you, you believe in one, one God, but you're not subscribing to any particular religion, right? So, for example, if you make a phone, if you create a phone, right? If you are a designer of a phone, and you make it very fast, nobody create it. So then, obviously, you will give an user manual, right? How to use this phone, how these apps working, or what kind of function this phone has. So what about the creator who created everything? Shouldn't he give a guidance to how to lead your I life? I believe that the creator is, has a gender. No, I, I, don't, I don't believe he's, he has a gender as yeah, well. Yeah, but I don't he believe. just doesn't feel right. So it's say. just, you know, to make, you know, just yeah. in, in Semitic language, yeah. it's just, just for, yeah. you know, addressing someone, nothing else. We don't believe God is male. We don't believe God is female. We don't believe... He is like I a feel human what being. What makes up the world is feminine energy. Like, as in, like, uh, what created the world is feminine energy, and what it, what the world is, is masculine energy. Okay, so feminine energy. If you say, yeah, every human being comes from a mother. Yeah. Yeah. I agreed on this. That's every human being. I come from a mother. You come from a mother. Yeah. Our father comes from their mother, right? Yeah. So I believe in many things. I agreed on on the things you said, but the things is. Uh, a God who created everything, he should give the guidance, right? And as Muslim, for example, how, how to lead your life. But for example, mm -hmm. okay, what I don't understand is, um, when I'm an artist, right? When yeah. I create, uh, I don't tell my audience or like the people who are consuming my art or reading my art or watching my art or, you know, looking at my art to look at it in a certain way. I don't tell them how to look at it. I just tell them to breathe in its essence. Let it, let it, let it tell them about themselves. Uh -huh. So I feel like life is a bit boring when um, you, you tell someone how to live it. I think I believe in natural law. I believe in like, for example, me like metaphysical law. I believe for example, that, for example, um, on an energetic level what's like, the natural law natural law i would say if you do something bad uh -huh. like for yourself and the environment uh -huh. you will reap the consequences of how it. do you how do you define the bad what's the standard to say this is bad this is good if it's if if it's harming uh someone without reason like if you're if without so if you harm it's someone still with the intention to harm someone, it's, it's subjective. It's still subjective. You see, because the harming, the definition of harming, maybe it's harming for you, it's not harming for me. You no, see, but, maybe um, one medicine is working for you, one medicine is not working for me. No, but so I it's not like something universal. Something, I mean, there's, you see, the what, thing is, harmful, I would say, uh -huh. I think there's, there's things that we need to agree on, like pedophilia, harmful, rape, harmful. Things like this are harmful, and, uh, but uh, for yeah. for making it harmful, you need to have a standard, right? Yeah, so, okay. if if for example, if a serial killer thinks he is he has his own standard, which is natural for him, yeah. so according to the natural, you know, uh, own essence or according to his natural belief, you can't deny he is accepting his natural belief and he's accepting the what nature says to him right his his nature so the thing is when you don't have the one standard morality that's that's called what is right what is wrong then it, everything will be messed up for example hitler their tribe they believe they they are doing right things by killing thousands millions of jews right and all of them believe that they are right so if i put their natural by their own self if i put their okay if maximum people think it's, it's right, then it's right. Can it be justified their killing? No, we can't justify their killing. But in that time, they thought they think they're right. Look at the Tatar and Genghis Khan and their their history. 
they they killed 10 percent of the pe uh, world world people in their time they killed it so they believe they are right so when you don't have the standard morality then what is right and what is wrong then you will be messed up and what's the standard morality is if you as i said if you make a picture you said you are an artist so you know better the in which stages what color you used you are the artist right so you know the what color you used you know what's the tattoo what does it mean because you are the artist so when you believe in a creator when you subscribe there is a creator and he created everything he knows what's our limit he knows because he's the creator he knows what we can perceive he knows what we can proceed he knows that what's our limitation what can we do what can we can't what we can't so harmfulness when you say the harmful maybe it's harmful for me it's not harmful for, for for you so we can't make a universal law within the natural you know the things we do you are saying that's the natural or this or that it doesn't make any universal law to you know be a, be a standard so we need to subscribe something which comes from someone who has the authority over everyone you understand so then we'll find the ultimate guidance for example if you want to be a two okay, wings okay, horse okay, you can't okay, let me just put it this sure way. Um, i'm queer yeah so i can't subscribe to a religion that condemns me so that's where i that's where i draw the line okay um, so you, you just uh there's the thing so you just you know, explain now why you are not subscribing. It's not the things that the Allah gives the guidance. No, All right. I think there's other then, reasons. Or, like so I'm what do you mean who you are? I'm queer as in like I'm gay. Like as in, um, yeah. What does queer mean? Queer just means hum Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So according to Islam, yeah, it's a sin. Okay. All right? Why? And why? Why? Because God gives a nature. As you said previously, you said the natural things. God gives the natural things. There's the men and women. For example, think about out of the religion. Don't think the religion. Think about our you know, genealogy. I'm no, what, I understand. I'm coming to this point. Let's put aside the religion. Let's think about the genealogy. So if you think that's the you are doing this, so if your previous generation does this, you can cannot be exist in this world right now. Because they did the natural things, the father and mother, then they have a family, unite family, and they you know, have but the genealogy. How do, you, how do you see sexuality? Sexuality, according, as I said, sorry, someone just pulled down from me. Yeah. So, according to Islam, yeah, God created men and women, and Allah said everything He created in pair men for women, women for men. And Allah said this, the we are you know we fulfilled each other but i don't feel like okay i'm not completely gay but mm -hmm. i'm i'm also attracted to men mm -hmm. but um i can't um i do I, I do think that uh you are biological female right yeah okay yeah, yeah. like I, I i think that like i shouldn't have to like sacrifice my sexuality to like describe so the thing this. is this is naturally naturally I, I haven't been conditioned or anything i was born and then i was born and i was always attracted to females and males okay and attracted to anyone human beings generally so i don't i won't i don't want to subscribe to a religion which tells me that i'm wrong and that's unnatural because i was born this way do you get what i mean it's not something that is is out it's out of my control what i feel in terms of like my sexual desire and i don't i'm not even someone who like there's this like false uh, like <clears throat> propaganda that goes on about the, the lgbt community whatever that we are hypersexual beings i'm someone who doesn't even so in terms of this yeah, yeah. in terms of the islam is very clear yeah okay. according to the law there's Allah created men and women, men for women, women for men. Yeah, that's what Islam says. And obviously, it's a sin. In Islam, it's a sin. Okay, that's the why? Commi commi why? why? Because Allah said He didn't create you like this. That's the you attract or these are the. When you have the own fulfillment, when you have the own desire, 
There's a there's a term in in desire. Allah created men and women for each other for reproduction and to for life to prosper. Life as in as we know it, life as for life to be maintained. But my sexuality does not get in the way of life being maintained because my agenda is not to make someone who is not gay gay. Like you can't do that. You can't do that. If someone is gay, they are gay. If someone is not gay, they are not gay. So it's like this is this is this is something that is So natural. for example, God created the men and women there are feelings testosterone and uh, okay. progesterone so okay. the thing is when you do have xy and xs chromosome yeah when you have xx chromosome you will be female when you have xy chromosome you will be male born as men okay, so yeah and your you testosterone that, do you believe that sex and gender are the same thing i believe there is two gender which is men male and and female i believe men and women but that but that assigns gender to just like your sexual organs right. and like for example like gender is made up it's a made up thing like who made it up it's a made up it's a human thing that's who made, made up, up who who made up gay and uh, lesbian all the things who made up this it's something if you say gender is made up why about the being no, gay that's, sexu that's sexuality gender and sexuality are for example things. you find a fossil fuel right okay of human being maybe okay. 500 years ago okay. So can you identify whether what gender he has? A fossil. Um, yeah. No, because it's it's, it's yes. It's whether a, you can you can identify a, look a, you can identify whether he's man. It's an emotional. It's whether mental. whether whether it's man or male or female by XX and XY chromosome. But nothing that else. Makes it, but that makes that okay. If we believe if we believe in God, the Almighty, the All. If I believe, yeah. If I believe, so how many genders according to you? No genders. If I believe, I am. I don't believe gender exists. If if I believe I'm a cat, am I a cat? No. Why not? I believe I'm a cat. If you want to be a cat, like if you believe you're a cat internally, then yeah. you can. Am be I a cat? cat? You can be. You can be, but it's it's like, does it harm you, or does it harm your surroundings? No, I'm saying I'm a cat. I'm a black cat. Can you believe that? Am I right? I mean, in terms of. Visually, I'm no. saying, am I right? So objectively. Yeah, no, no. Why not? I'm. I feel like. But that means that that's your you're dismissing like. I'm not dismissing anything. You said there is no gender, and I'm saying my gender is my gender is I'm a black cat. So if you say this, the gender there is no exist. gender. So, okay, then I am saying I I'm a, I don't I'm a, to, no, but I'm I a don't black cat. So why why you're not accepting me as a black cat? Why not? I'm not like I don't believe that like I have like if I believe for example I am um, my gender is male I don't I don't expect personally I don't expect people to see me as male unless visually visually like as in no I'm saying like, objectively are you right if you think you are a male no, like it's not it's not an objective thing that's the thing gender it's isn't an, object an objective thing. so that there's a sense thing. there's the same way i'm saying if i feel if i think i'm a cat am i a cat no no why not which in which basis you are saying no what's what's your standard because like, because what <laughs> because you're not furry you're not like i'm affirming my gender that i'm a cat i'm a black cat and you are saying no. I don't believe no. in that kind of gender identity. I don't believe in that. The things you said, there's a gender doesn't exist because it doesn't I. Exist. Yeah. When you said that I feel. Sex uh, if, exists. Yeah. So when you said that I feel like way, I'm saying my 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 things I'm identifying as a black cat. So why you're disagreeing with this? That's the and you are saying it is wrong. What's your standard then? I'm, I'm not judging you. You can you, be, want, you can be a black cat if you want. If that's the so, way that you want to live your life, and like so, so, you're not imposing on my, on, are, on my life, so and you're not dangerous. Then to you, me. do you agree that I'm a black cat? I don't like. I don't agree personally, but why that's not? my opinion, and that why, doesn't why matter to your existence. Why not? Why not? Because or for example, if I, if I say I'm a black cat, am I right? I don't know you enough. I don't know you enough. No, no, I'm saying now, this, I'm giving the statement to you, that I'm a black cat who has two wings. Am I right? That, who has two wings? Yeah, a cat who has two wings, for example. Okay, if that's what you feel like you are 
symbolized by like i'm talking about symbol like i'm talking about energetically you feel like a black cat uh -huh. then you're a black cat internally i'm but right externally, am i right am i right to say i'm a black cat it's not that black and white it's not that black and white it's, it's, I'm, I'm talking about the objective way, it's a yes or no question, like, like I'm saying I'm a black cat and you are saying it's not this way. I'm saying to you this, I'm a black cat and do, like do you agree with this? Gender is not like that. And I, I'm not even here to do gender politics. For me, I don't, that, that, I don't, I don't believe that. You put that this on the point, you put, no, you put this question on the table that gender does, doesn't exist, it's a yeah. social construct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, from, from the same point of view, okay. I'm saying what's the standard of your What's your standard to say this? You see, when you say it's no, it's not like this. What is your standard then? When when I am saying I'm a black cat, you are I not accepting like me I as a black the, cat. I draw the line um, at people identifying. According to what? To you see, according to what? You you don't have any subject, standard. My subjective like. So how do you think that your subjective is right for me as well? You I'm are, not saying that's right. That's the things you said. I'm not saying that's the thing right you said. Gender doesn't exist for me. It does exist, and you are saying gen gender doesn't exist. You see? Okay. So for me, you are making a statement that ge okay. gender doesn't exist. You feel like this way doesn't mean that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the okay. truth for everyone. Okay, cool. Do you understand okay. my point now? Okay, do you understand? So if you say gender doesn't exist, then I am saying that I am black cat. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't okay. make sense. You okay. see? The thing is that Allah said. He created men and women. Yeah, we make this. We commit the sin. If if someone commit the you know homosexuality, this or that, according to Islam, it's a sin. And obviously, for the sinner, Allah said, "Why?" That's what I'm saying. Why? Because Allah didn't make it like this way. There's a thing. Allah said, "It's the desire you are choosing. You are choosing to be gay. You are choosing to be homosexual. You are choosing to be this or that. You know, you are choosing. You are choosing but to why go there." Is it a sin? That's what I'm saying. That you are choosing. Except you are, you are. Have you been gay before in your life? No. Okay, so how would you know this? Allah said it. Allah said it. So. Yeah. Because He's the Creator of everyone, so He knows what He's talking okay, about. What is your basis for this? Like Quran. You know? The Quran is the basis. Okay, and I will read. I will read the Quran. Yeah. And I don't mind reading the Quran. Yeah, so you can read it. The things. But I know. I know for a fact that my sexuality isn't a choice. So you choose this way. I, for for example, even the I'm a student of medical science. Then in even medical things, there's the when someone chooses to be transgender or these are that. That's been disproven so many times. Which which things maybe dis, which I things can, is I can it disproven? Get over, I can get uh -huh. Video right now. Video is not the research or something like that, right? No, this is he's a researcher. He's got his PhD in medical science. Yeah, what he says. You'll see. I'll show you. What he said? Yeah, you can tell me then. I can see what he says. Yeah, I'll show you. Can you recite like full passages of the Quran? About what? Like the whole thing. Can you recite the whole thing? About concept You're of God? You're expecting me to recite like a whole video. Like... No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying reciting. If you can remember, if you can remember what he's what you're saying, just summary. That's what no, I'm no, saying. No, no. No, no, no. Sorry, if you don't understand, if you misunderstand me, I was just uh, literally saying this. That if you can, memo, if you can, uh, you know, remember what he said, then you can tell me just instead of just going no, through the I'll video. Show, I'll show you the video because he can explain it better than me. Yeah. You said you didn't read the Quran before, right? Yeah. And the Quran says, you know, that if you even commit the sin, yeah? Allah says, لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله He will forgive you even if you commit the sin which, which filled the you know, heaven and the earth. So, you see, Allah is the most merciful, yeah? Yeah, no. So, it doesn't matter whatever you do. Yeah, you can repent to the Allah, then He will forgive you. That's it. That's yeah, the but Quranic I belief. don't care for that. Like, I don't care to be forgiven for something that's well, like What is it? It's, not it's the gender or what? Huh? What is it? Oh, you, it's the different symbol of gender. No. Or sexuality. Not, or not my whole thing. My ah. whole life isn't oh. about gender or sexuality. Sorry, I, I, I thought it's just plus and the female no, sign. Sorry, no, sorry for that. Yeah, no, I thought. That's not my whole life. Yeah, all right. Or an artist, you said, right? Mm -hmm. 
not fun with you, but... Did you remember what you what he said in the video? Do you re remember anything? I think you, if you can remember something, you can tell me. What was the topics? It was talking about the spectrum of uh, hormones uh -huh. uh, and how it fluctuates within each individual. Uh -huh. And based on that, um, they can have a completely different, like. Yes, yeah, so like, if disease exists, then I don't have any question on this. Disease? If, if it's a disease, I don't have any it's question. It's not a disease. What it says? It's like. Yeah, some people has much more hormone. Some people has less hormone. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no, okay. What, okay, what about intersex people? How would you like? Like who likes both male and female? Yeah, like. Yeah, so uh, same. The Quran says this: the Allah is choosing the female is for male and male is for female. So okay. there's, there's how the Quran described the okay, but then sexuality. Like, what about? I'm talking about there's people who are born with like both sexual organs. They, they are, they have... They yeah, so in their time, if they are, for example... Uh, like if, if Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if they're 60 percent, for example, 60, 80 and 20. Okay. Look, 80 percent female and 20 percent men. So in their time, the, they are all of the rules. The rules of female will be, uh, you know, implemented to, to this uh, body. And if there is 80 percent male, and 20 percent female which is very rare case but you know allah that. created them that way yeah so there's there's what allah allah given them the rules even that if you if it is 80 percent male 20 percent female oh they allah has given them rules as in like they will no no he will con he will be considered as female in that time if it's 80 percent female and 20 percent all the things for example uh, rules of a female in a family in a inheritance property and all the stuff the islamic rules all will be implemented as female if it this guy is 80 percent this uh you know men or uh, women is 80 percent men mm -hmm. so then it will be as men considered as men if he's 80 percent female will be considered as female uh, women you see so they don't have to go through some sort of trans transition to become more of a woman or more of a man yeah for example if they if it is like if it's curable there's like if they go for medicine and the 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 hair lift up. That's a lot fine. Of people who are intersex don't mm -hmm. feel they have a disease. Like don't, they don't. I'm not saying like it's. They function, I'm, they I'm not saying the disease. It's first of all, if there is one-handed people in in the universe, or someone doesn't have an arm, it doesn't make the stereotyping that all human doesn't have arm. So yeah, there is exception of everything. Yeah, it's an exception. We we accept this as an exception. But I I can't say all the things depends on this. The, all the rules will not be depend on one or two uh, men or men or okay, women. But you like, see? Okay, there's some there's men who the standard is like there's men men and females are supposed to enjoy sexual intimacy, right? Yeah. Okay, that is the standard, not without marriage, but like recognition. With marriage in, in, with in Islam, marriage, yeah, with, with without marriage. without marriage is not allowed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, um, but if someone is gay. And they are having a sexual like experience with the sex in which they're not attracted to like a lot of the times they are going to have difficulties with like arousal with and it's going to be a so in islam experience. it says that you cannot you cannot go married if you are not fit in terms of physical in terms of attraction in terms of this this or that there is okay. rolling sony rolling on this for example in islam when okay. you can have physical intercourse once you get married so okay. before marriage there is condition as well if you're not physically fit then you can't get married if you're not you know mentally fit you can't get married so there is a condition as well to get married it's not something if for example if someone married a woman uh, and he doesn't have the capa he doesn't have you know fitness in terms of physique in terms of other things then he islam doesn't allow him because he will be he will destroy he will be destroying her rights 
to have the you know enjoyment in terms of uh, physical intercourse. Islam doesn't allow it to happen. Yeah, Islam says, yeah, go for medicine and be prepared for this before doing marriage. Yeah, Islam, Islam is very clear about that. I think I think you have many questions about Islam. No, I do. <laughs> I do yeah. Like, because I'm interested because. Yeah, yeah. For example, my brother the other day. Um, I, I spent okay. Do you agree on this? That's the. If you, you said that you believe in God, do you agree this? If God exists and God exists existing already, so do you believe that God will be the best being to describe something about us, because He is the Creator? What do you think of? I that? think I believe uh, like God has created us uh -huh. and it, he, they, whatever, uh -huh. she is watching us, watching over us and has our best intentions but wishes us to make our own way through this the, and planet. I think we provides we did have a discussion some guidelines, <coughs> provides us with some guidelines, but like what is the guidelines? I just don't I just don't believe that like for me like I don't really believe in state marriages. Uh -huh. uh, I don't believe in that. Um, what do you mean by state marriages? I, like okay, so I respect the way that marriage is conducted within Islam. I do respect that. But I don't respect it under the law, like as in like under the law we're currently in. Like, Sorry, come come again? What's law? As in like the government law, like political no, law. No, there is, there is no political law in terms of uh, marriage in Islam. There is okay. no political law. Okay, but like marriage is under the state within our current system. So current system is not Islamic. Okay, okay, but like, so how would you have marriages within <coughs> Islamic. Islamic? Islamic Okay, law? in Islamic Sharia, Marriage is like when is a full-grown man and full-grown women, right? And they both agreed in marriage. If they don't agree in their marriage, marriage will not be uh, so held. Uh, held. All, yeah. Were a lot of the. Um, Let me feel. Okay. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Then there will be there will be two witnesses. Sorry, man. Don't yeah? have anything. I'm so sorry. There will yeah, be two witnesses from uh, both sides. No, not not. Sorry. Mm. Sorry, sir. We're just talking about the Quran. Yeah. Oh. Are you interested? On marriage, and there is a witness from the both party, and there is a, uh, you know, fixed amount of money is fixed for. Uh, the so marriage system. isn't about enjoyment. It's about maintaining life. Not really, because Allah said this: the the peace of our eyes is women, and for women, men. Yeah. See, there's the enjoyment as well. There's the. Uh, the yeah, but what there's if a, I don't find enjoyment? Yeah. Then if you if you don't find enjoyment, you have. Am I sick? Am I ill? No, no, okay, no, no. So is... you have uh, you have an option. Maybe it's for psychological things. Maybe you are not fit with. Uh, you you don't have any you don't have that much mutual connection with your husband in terms of if you get married with someone who maybe you did like him before you don't like him now for some reason and if you don't think it doesn't goes well then you can divorce so it's very simple in Islam but like, not like um, the Christianity what you can't about divorce like yeah. psychological reasons <coughs> like how would how would someone who is homosexual be psychologically ill Know, or psychologically not fit and that is the reason why they are like homosexual so as i said the before marriage is the condition there's the if you don't feel attraction if you don't feel you are ready if you don't feel you are physically okay you are mentally okay then you can't get married that's 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 the baseline okay. of condition uh, to get married so okay. if, if you think that okay i'm not ready if you think i'm not ready in terms of my mental things in terms of mentally physically but in terms of my capacity. Like, so is, is homosexuality considered a mental thing? Allah called it desire. There's the men chose or women chose. There's, they have the desire, you have the, your own choice. Okay, but, you chose it. Okay, but like, do you not, like, do men and women not desire each other to, for them to be able to come into marriage with each other? It's a, according to Islam, it's allowed. According to Islam, the homosexuality is not allowed. 
So as I said, the, when we like, have the standard, what is the difference? like what's the difference? Difference is there's the it's goes. A, is it just reproduction that is the difference? No, 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 no. It's just the so, social construction. That's if, for example, if I believe f from today, if I believe I'm a cat, and everyone needs to believe that I'm a cat as well. Then, then the social construction but will affect sexuality, as well. My sexuality has nothing to do with you or anyone here, to be honest. But I don't just go around announcing that in, I'm gay. For example, like, you are not taking the seat belt, but why you, do, you are not harming me by not putting the seat belt, you okay. see? But it's still legal to, you know, uh, have driving with your seat belt in the UK, right? Okay, so you are not harming me. I do understand thing. there's a practical thing, that's but practical Allah thing. is the creator. He knows what is right and what is wrong for us. So if you subscribe, he's a creator, then you need to subscribe. He knows the things be better than me, better than you. Were you, you born into Islam? I born as Muslim, then I become agnostic. And I studied uh, Hinduism, I studied uh, Christianity, I studied uh, Buddhism, I studied Judaism, and I studied Islam as well. Then I accepted Islam, yeah. Okay. Did you study different, like, so are you Sunni Muslim? I'm Sunni, yeah. Okay. Um... Did you study like paganism? Did you yeah. study Gnosticism? Yeah. Did you study what about Sufism? Like Sufism in Islam, there's the Sufism. According to the Sufi, they make the connection with the Creator, and in in terms of you know making connection, it's, it's called the Tazkiyah. Yeah, Tazkiyah means the purifying yourself. Okay. So Sufism based on Tazkiyah, but it goes to some you know extreme way, like they are making. Uh, they are sometimes they're worshiping even the grave yeah grave they're going to graveyard they're worshiping to the people who died already they're saying oh give us uh, uh you know good path these or that we don't subscribe to this we subscribe there yeah we for the taskia for the purifying yourself we have direct connection to the creator already so we don't need to go to any other any any anyone else yeah we need to go to the teacher for to get the knowledge we need to go to the so teacher you see it as like a third party like no third party, we see this uh, depends on which Sufism, some of them are extreme, some of them are not extreme, some of them are you know, mutual. We agreed with many of the things with the Sufism, we agreed with, we doesn't agree with many of the things with the Sufism, which is goes to the, against the Quran and Sunnah. Our basis, basic aqidah depends on the Quran and the Sunnah. If something goes against the Quran, this is the standard, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Islam. Yeah. So if something goes against this, we don't we don't subscribe to this. Doesn't matter whatever it is, what's the name you give, what's the things you Does said. Does Allah say within the Quran why He created man and woman for each other? Yeah, Allah said this that they are the peace of each other. This, there is a many uh, verse of the Quran. It says, for example, Rabbana habla min azwajina azuriyatina qurrata aaminin wa jalna lil muttaqin. There is many dua means prayer. Allah teaches there's the Allah said this the prayer to the Allah that's the he make he give us the good and wealthy sorry good wife who is you know eye piecing when I see my wife or when I see my child I can get the peace in my heart the Allah said the men and women are the you know they fulfill each other according to the Islamic view so that's what it says yeah do you not feel a peace in your heart when you are with your brothers? For sure. Okay. It's the, there is an Islamic al-Muslim al muslim There is another hadith that's the, all the Muslim, they are brothers of each other. So yeah, we, we feel peace in this brotherhood. It says that... So what is, al what is the difference then? What is the difference? Because for me, uh -huh. as someone who feels attraction to men and to women, I feel that peace with men and I feel that peace with women depends and on it's, feel... it's the subjective again you yeah. see the okay. the subjective cannot the sexuality is subjective depends on like what as I said the, then my identity will be subjective as well that's if I say I'm a cat then you need to subscribe to it but as gender well gender and sex are different that's what I'm saying so right. according to your philosophy gender and sex are different according to my philosophy that's, that's the thing according to your standard it's, it's your according to my standard it's not you see, the things you are saying, that is social construction. If I say your thinking is the social construction by yourself, then you can, cannot defend it because it's subjective still. So the thing is, when we have the objective things, when we have the standard morality, when we have the standard, which is, we can see, if I say 25, 
Minix, well, then you so have I them. I don't feel sexuality can be standardized. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying, okay, marriage in terms of. But I'm saying because of the things I said. That so we believe in a creator who created everything. From this point of view, no, I, do, I, I do believe. I do believe in a creator. Yeah. But I don't believe that the creator, like. Do you know that Harvard University have a research that the gay gene or gene of homosexuality doesn't exist? Do you know that? Harvard University. Yeah. Do you know that? I don't really care about like. You see, then, like then you are not caring about. So then you are not caring about the science Harvard as well. No, no, no. I care about science. Yeah, I but, care about science, but there's. But when it comes, when it comes to the theory as well, science. No, no, it's a, it's a fact. It's a fact. The it's only not that theory. Fact is maths in this world. No, what are you talking about? H two O, two mole hydrogen on one mole oxygen. It, it is fact or theory. Well, like that's. Chemical. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm that's so, alchemy, but that's mathematical. No, no, no. How? Like, it's, it's science, isn't it? Science. But what is science based upon? Science based upon the living things, things which can be described, which can be. Proof which can be do the evidence. But there's, there's the based on upon. what you already feel is true. No, 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 no. no. Scientists. No, you see that when you are taking science on every single aspect, when science is going against your the things you believe in, subjective things, then you are saying it's a science is. Uh, yeah, there's the many, things. many people. There's no, I am saying the recent. I can I can show you a research paper that Harvard University their research with the other universities so saying as fact. That, there's there's so many papers that actually counteract that as well. So yes. Like, so what, we can look into how, it. How, we can look into it. Know? Okay. So did you feel like? As I'm saying, this it's a feelings. Do you understand? You are saying you feel like. No, I'm saying, or, did you feel uh -huh. with, with Islam? So with Islam, was it a practical choice for you? Was it was it like a 3D choice for you? The Islam to maintain the Islamic life? Or yeah, what? instead of like, did you feel like when you chose Islam, yeah. everything in your life fell together, like pieced together? I feel, it, I feel it, yeah. Okay, and then, it, and then you felt one with everything. What do you mean one with everything? As in like, for, see, for example, I love my mother in a way. I don't love my wife in same way. Yeah, my wife has different way. I love my brother in a different way. So you saw something feeling one for everyone. Yeah. So there is a difference between wife, between mother, between my father, between my, you know, maybe children or this or that. So there is a different layer of love. For example, as Muslim, we love Allah that more so than our life, more than our okay, everything. We love Prophet cool. Muhammad then. We love then. Yeah, 100%. That, yeah. But I'm saying like, okay, well, if I'm like you are you and I am me if I like say that I feel different love for my girlfriend or my partner or my boyfriend or whatever compared to my sister compared to my brother it's your feelings to, okay okay so these are your feelings too then whose are your feelings yeah, your feelings, as in like, I'm saying... And uh, it's, these feelings is according to the standard of the morality. Okay, but you're saying that... When you have the sexual feeling, okay, yeah. Okay, do you believe that your morality then is superior to my morality? Depends on from where I am taking the morality off. Because the, I'm taking the morality which gave by the creator who created everyone and he knows what's, what's among us. So he's giving the morality and I'm not taking my morality. I'm taking the morality of the creator which has been set it out by the creator and maybe you are taking your morality by your own self and as, as we discussed previously yeah, that's that if you everyone and you respect me yeah so, so, what, so I, I'm not saying this that I'm not so, respecting you I'm not saying I'm not you know no I know you're not saying that I know I'm saying like we are able to be here and have a conversation yeah and we're able to connect on a human level yeah okay, right? that's fine so, so what does it matter that's what I'm saying what does it matter whether I no we discussed about the you said what Islam said, what Islam think about this, think about that, and that's what I'm trying to dis describe yeah. in you, right? Okay. So that's the difference between the you know subjective morality and the morality of Islam. So come again, just one more I time. There's like the when you when you have the subjective morality, you don't have any standard of the morality. If you say the right, no, if I'm you not say wrong. Subjectively, like. I'm not respecting you on a subjective level. I'm respecting you on a human decency level. Like you are so, not. So like I'm. You, the, the, that's what I we discussed previously. Yeah, there's yeah. the human decency or whatever it but is. But you don't. Like, well, how as, do you? As someone who is not. 
you know, as someone who is, you know, gay, whatever, like, do you, do you, on a human level, do you respect me less? Okay, that's a good point then. Like, so, we, we see every single sin as sin, okay. yeah? So, we make differentiation between sin and sinner, okay. yeah? So, if I so commit... So, you feel I'm possessed by... For example, for the... me, for me, I believe I'm a sinner. Maybe I'm telling a lie, maybe I'm not that much good with my wife, maybe I'm not that much good with my father, so still I'm a sinner. If someone commits uh, adultery, they are a sinner as well. If so someone uh, having sexual intercourse with same sex, they are a sinner as well. You see, so there is a layer of sinner. We, I am a sinner, you, maybe someone else is a sinner, Every, we, everyone is a sinner. So we make distinguish between the sinner and sin. So yes, if someone commits sin, we say we don't have, we don't hate the sinner that much until unless it's the... Yeah, you don't hate the player, you hate the game, like, kind of thing. Sorry, come again? You don't hate the player, you hate the game. Yeah. So, yeah, like, so, oh, we, uh, and there, there is a reason. I feel the same, so it's like, that's why, like, but I don't, I don't view... But we think, we think it's not, it's not good because okay. we know the standard, as I said, we have the standard of morality. And according to the standard of morality in Islam, there's, we don't subscribe to the things that uh, committing adultery or committing homosexuality or committing this kind of stuff. We hate uh, these particular things or we are not subscribing to this, we are not respecting this as, as, as sin, as it is a sin. Like if I telling lie, if I doing some bad stuff with my wife, I'm still I'm saying it is a sin and I don't subscribe to this. But still, I'll not, for example, if my father doing some bad stuff and someone stealing the food, so I'll not going to kill him to do this, you see? So Islam is the, you know, complete guidance and it's saying if you commit the sin even, then it's the door of Allah is open still, you can repent and you can get the forgiveness. That's very simple. Uh, one second, sorry. Sure. Uh, wait up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> He's just maybe sleeping now. Long. We found, we found peace here in our conversation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Then any other question? <laughs> Seems like you have lots of questions about Islam. Yeah, because my brother, whom I love, is converting to Islam. Yeah. And there's a lot of Islamic, uh, Islamophobic propaganda going ah, on. Ah, okay. Yeah. And I don't want to. Part of want, this propaganda. I don't want to be a part of it because. Yeah, I that's feel that's very harmful. that's very respectful. Yeah, that's and, very respectful. Yeah, but he he has some problematic views and he's been affected by some of false practice pra practitioners. Ah, okay. So, yeah. So, for example, he doesn't believe that misogyny exists. For example. Yeah. He doesn't believe that. He believes that it's bullshit. Um, no, Islamic point is not like this. Yeah, exactly. So I tried to speak. To yeah, if someone hate, if if someone spread hates toward women, obviously he's misogynist. So yeah, we, so, we don't have any issues with this. Um, but he doesn't like. He, what okay, I'm why to why say don't you you said that you believe in God? You believe in all this stuff. So what's the reason you are not accepting Islam? It's for just. No, I accept being... it. I accept that you believe what you believe, and I I respect it. And I'm, respect I'm saying you know you know you're respecting me, but why don't you believe that? Why don't you accepting because it? Because I haven't as, read as... it enough. I haven't read it enough. Oh, okay, and I then. can't I can't submit All right. to something that I don't know enough about. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's and, fine. You know, um, let me tell you what Islam is. Islam is we believe in one God. Yeah, we believe in one Creator. It says Allah <laughs> Allah 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 is Allah is one. Allah is someone who is independent, he doesn't depend on anything. And then it says, Lam yalidu, lam yulad. He's not the father of anyone, he's not the son of anyone, he's not the children of anyone. Yeah? Neither he begot or nor he born. And then it says, Walam There's nothing is equivalent to the Creator. And He is all knowing, He is all powerful. And we believe this, that this God gives the guidance to the people, to the all human being, through the Prophet Muhammad, through all the Prophets. And we believe. The prophecy and with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu That's what we believe. Very, very simple. Believe in one God. Believe in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Is the last one the final messenger. That's what we believe. And you know the things we discussed about the homosexuality and these or that. Every single, uh, you know, if you see the Abrahamic religion, 
Christianity, Islam, Judaism, all the religion accept it as sin, uh, the homosexuality and all other stuff. So obviously, as Abrahamic religion, Islam is saying it's a sin. Obviously, one of the biggest sin in Islam. That's the big homosexuality. But when Islam, Islam was curated or it came to rise like thousands of years ago, and back then the population was a lot lower and to maintain and to maintain life and to spread life i would imagine that There's god would god would encourage people to as man and woman to come together to oh, okay to maintain life but Maybe now we have exceeded that. We have exceeded that. There's there's thousands of children who don't have mothers or fathers who need looking after. I feel but that there is a there is a, yeah. In a so I, I want to stop you. I want to stop you yeah. in this point. There's the Islam. You said that maybe from when Islam is rising, maybe for that point. But Islamic teaching is same. It's never changed. It's same for all the things. Allah said that yeah, I know, I know. No, that the thing is, the thing is, Islamic standard is is for all people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 read and write and we could spread information and communicate with each other so it's timeless in that sense as well sorry how could if it was if it's timeless yeah um then it would mean that it was it was present and it was the moral su the su morally superior before it was spread like yeah. thousands of years ago but the actual quran it's... was written thousands of years ago but There was there was life there is no there, there is no two three Quran there is only one Quran yeah but there was like there was life before the Quran is what I'm saying yeah so there but, is there was life before the Quran and the God sent didn't exist uh, yeah for a long time, and God like. the God sent previous books as well so God sent the other books not only the but Quran the, God sent the Torah Jab communication like that didn't exist before yeah the so Quran was before we could read, but, read and write so no 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 it, it's, it's exist it's exist it's it, exist before the, yeah for example well, Torah, we, the moses okay. think think about the moses let's say in that time oh. after 700 years or 800 whatever it is in that time the people was writing as well people write in in the you know in bone you're saying it was and, communicated in different ways in in different ways for example it was uh, tra uh, transmission by oral transmission and other transmission as well writing as well sometimes they're writing in the leaf and other they're writing on uh, on the ground so yeah there is many so it spreads over time over, over time and the islam the quran is the last revelation because there is a, some other other books as well god send the messengers then, for right, all tribe so do you believe in evolution and, and the thing is and things is all the books was different all these book other books was for that time so according to that time so god sent the books for these people but the actual message you are saying there is one god and worship to the uh, one true creator and god sent the message that's the uh, the main message was same but there is a different rulings on different things yes i agreed on you there's the world has changed and god sent the message as uh, as usual yeah what what is your question sorry okay um, you, you asked something i forgot For example, I believe that like sexual disease, for example, as in like infections, are an evolutionary thing. I believe that like because people don't intentionally practice sexual activity, mm -hmm. disease has spread, and the, the people who uh, the people who conduct themselves in a way which continues that disease will come to harm themselves, and that is like. natural selection right but like i also believe that the world is very black and white and i feel that the the color gray which i feel homosexuality is a little bit a part of allows that allows the union of masculine and feminine energy and i feel, i believe as a man within yourself like yes you are a man biologically but do you believe if you believe in energy you believe that feminine energy is different to masculine energy i believe that every human being i believe that every human being possesses masculine energy and feminine energy 
like but uh, yeah uh, let me stop you here because you brought many points yeah. for first of all sexual yeah. diseases then yeah, so the I'm evolution saying, saying then natural selection yeah then like natural selection the then all the stuff first of all yeah i believe is first of all, evolutionary thing. yeah so that's okay that's your belief so but first of all it's it doesn't go with the science first of all at all because the things the sexuality and all the stuff it's nothing to do with the evolution. I'm talking about socio social sciences, not social sciences. But social science, if you talk about the evolution, it's the going to the biological science, it's not the social science. But so a lot if, of a lot of our a lot of our psychology stems from stems from things that we have experienced no, if, which no, are out no, of no, our if you if you go to are, if you go to the evolution, if you go to the natural selection it's directly going to the biology. And if you're going to our life and our sexuality directly connected with the biology. And the, what's the evolution says? Evolution says about the natural selection. It doesn't say about the, what the sex you will be. It says the, the things you, you are... Do you believe astrology is a science? Oh, yeah, I believe. Okay. So the thing is when evolution is saying, evolution is saying something about the natural selection. Evolution never spoke about the things, things like the, all of the stuff. And, there is a two kinds of evolution, Lamarckian evolution and Darwinian evolution. I'm not, so what kind of evolution you're referring? I, evolution doesn't like, evolution in terms of like our thinking, in terms of like, in terms of creating a more Evolution connected, doesn't create connected. anything. Evolution doesn't create anything. I feel like things, I feel like we like develop over time. Like, like evolution. for example, like, uh, okay. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes first, of all, first of all, first of all, first misunderstanding is evolution doesn't create anything. Okay. So if you say evolution created something, it's first of all it's a misunderstanding. No, it's, I'm saying it's a byproduct of like what was. What was was harmful. So unconsciously, subconscious things come into play, and we end up like. No, it changing. doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. For example, if you go to the species, if you go to the mutation, even the random mutation, random mut mutation doesn't say it. This evolutionary thing can change your sexuality or this or that. It doesn't say it at all. Yeah, because so it, doesn't, it doesn't. It's not in like commercial science. It's not in that. No, like, what do you mean by commercial science? I mean like the science that we are taught in our schools. Like. So what's the actual science according to you? I, b I don't believe that commercial science is absolutely wrong, but I don't think it's absolutely What's right. What's the actual science according to you? I don't believe in like a albeit science. I believe that everyone yeah, everything, has to... Yeah, science, we can't... We have empirical evidence, we have the testimonial evidence, we have the historical evidence. I'm not saying I, I do as subscribe only the science. Though, as our technology develops, doesn't, doesn't our scientific basis for everything change as well? Like what kind of basis, for example? For example, like the for example the um, periodic table over time, we've added it's, more. Chemicals it's added. To it. it never changed the basis. Periodical table. It's been added. For example, radium added. Okay. Um, we found the sodium or something like that. Xn. It's added. It's never changed the basis of the science. It's never. It's added on the table, so it's been added. So the thing is, it will be added. The more advanced will be, more advanced, more adding thing will be. And the thing is, I don't subscribe to the science as a standard morality. I subscribe to the Quran as the standard morality. Just need to be clear. So I don't subscribe to the science on everything what science is saying, or I don't subscribe to the science every hypothetical thing. I subscribe the fact science has. Yeah, I subscribe to this. That's, this is the truth. And obviously, Quran doesn't, you know, make any differentiation between the fact which has been proved and the everything we found for example the embryological science oceanography all that all the stuff we found Quran does agreed with this so the okay, things so is that we, we found that we think this the Quran is the standard in terms of morality in terms of our life in terms of our guidance so we found it is it's the standard okay, guidance so God created life what is our purpose that's a good point so Allah said in the Quran, God created death and life. God gave us death and life to see who will do the good deeds. Who will good, do the good deeds. Yeah? That you, quality deeds, not quantity. The quality and higher quality. And another verse Allah says, Allah created 
the mankind, human being, and jinn, uh, the other uh, jinn, to do the worship of him, to subscribe that he is the creator, to be gratitude to him. And if we don't, don't subscribe, if we don't worship to the Allah, there is nothing changed to the Allah. Allah will be the same. But we need to be gratitude for ourselves. That's to get the ultimate, you know, enjoyment. For example, you are saying you enjoy this or you enjoy that. But at a certain time, we'll die. You will die, I will die, right? Mm -hmm. we'll, this from, we'll leave this world. So according to our belief, we'll go to so the is hereafter. Desire important? Sorry? Is, is desire important? Yeah, if it goes with the standard morality. Obviously, it's important. If desire is important as long as it's going to the standard morality. But then wouldn't life become so monotone if everyone had the same standard morality of desire? No, it's, it's not because uh, it will be more structured, it will be more function. If you look at the Islamic history, when Islam was ruling, everyone was, you know, the more stabi stabilized than the today's world. Po po uh, puberty, uh, sorry, po poverty rate was less, the people was more happy in their time. So if you read the history, Islamic history, you'll find it. So when you have the standard morality and you understand the basis of the what some morality is, you understand the right or wrong and you act upon it because when you have the guidance from the creator who created you, obviously it will be standard and it will be peaceful for you. It will be uh, prosperity, it will bring the prosperity to the society and to the country as well. That's what we believe and we, we have the, if you read the history of Islamic history, you'll find it. That's the every single time when Islam was in ruling and it was actually the Islamic state was established then it happens. So okay. that's very simple. I'll read, I'll read yeah, Islamic all right. history. Yeah, you can read Islamic history, look into it, and that's the Quran. Take it, as you said. And yeah, I think there is a one but book. But isn't, isn't like the Quran translated into English not as, like, I don't know, deep and... Yeah, so that, that's a very good yeah. uh, question. For example, because yeah, Arabic if you if you if you can poetic language, yeah, so it's like if you read in English. if you if you can read in Arabic, that's fine. That's that's amazing. But as you know, you, you can't read in Arabic. So we're we're just giving translation. Let's something is better than nothing, right? So you can look into it. Obviously, you'll get the the meaning of what Allah is saying, what God is saying. You get the message. But obviously, if you can read it in Arabic, obviously it it has a extra connection with the you know god or the things and you'll get the more so up but if like what i also don't understand is if god wanted us wanted us to know what life was for then wouldn't we speak in a language that everyone understands yeah so gods for example the there is a semantic language there's the Hebrew, Aramaic, Arabic. Yeah, these are the semantic language. So God sent the message in the language, and God says in the Quran, there's the God gives many languages, and the many, you know, divided in many parts of the world. The people in many, for example, black, brown, I'm brown, you're white, someone black. You see, so to you know, to do the better understanding, to have the, you know, diversity, and obviously the Quran is the God sent the language which is unique. The Arabic language is one of the unique language in the world. So it can be, you can express the many things in Arabic language which cannot be ex expressed in any other languages. So even a word means the five, six, eight, ten different things in Arabic language which, which you don't find in any other languages. So, I mean in Hebrew you do. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's a semantic language. That's the Hebrew, Arabic, Aramic, there is semantic language. But so is Latin a semantic language? I don't think no. Latin is not. So, uh, like, if you look at the Torah, if you look at the you know Bible, the came, Bible came in Aramaic. If you look at the Moses, he came in uh, same Semitic language. So all of the books uh, revealed to Semitic language. This was the we found the English language is other way far later than the you know this Semitic language which was established in that time. So obviously God will choose the best language uh, to preserve to give His so guidance. So if you're homosexual, you can't be Muslim. No, 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 no. That's that's mean as misunderstanding. The, yeah, you can be Muslim. You can be Muslim yeah, you can be Muslim, but obviously you will be accountable for your sin. The sin you will do. For example, if I if I commit, even I'm Muslim, if I commit homosexuality, I will be a sinner. You see, I will be a sinner. But it will not take out of me Everything else from. But if I justify the homosexuality, the homosexuality is right and obviously it is right things and i don't care about the god's word obviously i'll be not i'll, I'll leave islam
to see. So the things is what the salvation means and was as a servant of Allah, we worship Allah. If I, if I know that homosexuality is a sin, but I continue sinning, Yeah. but if I repent, as in I, I pray five times a day. Allah said, look, Allah said if you commit sin, Allah said in the Quran, if you don't repent after committing sin, if you don't repent to me, then I will demolish you, demolish you and I will send another people to the world who will commit sin and get, repent from me. You see, so Allah loves, there is a hadith in, it says that there is all the Kullu uh, Bani Adam Khattain, there is a verse, uh, there is a hadith it says that all the people, all the Bani Adam, means all the people are sinner, but the best sinner among them who repent after sin. You see, so you can get the repentance. What do you think about, uh, say for example, do you believe that when you are creating um, art, you are in touch with God? When we are? Creating art. Just creating. Creating what? Anything. For example, depends on what you were talking about. But isn't creation like a divine thing? So yeah, according to us, like we believe we have a direct connection to the God. Like Allah said that um, uh, Allah Do wali, I not Allah allow God to possess me if I Allah well, yeah Allah said it. That's the Allah waliu lazina amanu. That's the Allah is the friend of the mu'min who believes in Him. So Allah is the best connection when you make the sujood. There's a hadith says that. Uh, the people, the Muslim, become the closest when they make the sujood, when they uh, put their put their face on the ground to pray. So this is the time when they become the most closer to the Allah. So yeah, you have the close connection and you have the direct connection to the God if you become Muslim, and Muslim has the direct connection to the God. And obviously everyone is accountable for their own sin, for own good deeds. If you do the good deeds, obviously you'll get the, you know, uh, Outcome and outcome is paradise, unlimited, eternal paradise, eternal happiness. Look, our life is very simple, very short, and within this short time, if we be gratitude to the Allah, gratitude to the Creator who created us, according to our belief, we'll so get is the this eternal. Jahannam, then? Like, are we in Jahannam? Not. We are in a test. Like, we are in a test. So it's and in between Jahannam. No, in between. In between. No, this life. Yeah, the. Life of this dunya, in, in comparison with eternal life, is just a simple one minute or two minutes in comparison uh, in compare with the life after death. So we believe there is a test. So once you once your test has been completed, obviously you'll get the outcome. So outcome is in hereafter. If you subscribe to the Allah, if you subscribe to the messengers, and if you follow His command commandments, we believe this you'll get the ultimate, you know, enjoyment, ultimate happiness ultimate everything eternal which will never end and if we don't follow the guidance of Allah if we don't subscribe to him we still will get the ultimate regret that's what I believe very simple you see I think here yeah, read the Quran may Allah guide all of us may Allah guide you you know you seem you seems like very sincere person by the way yeah yeah I am what can I say yeah like... yeah so look into the Quran and the things you do have you know homosexuality all the stuff Look into it, read something about the Quran, look into it. The Allah said, you know, the, the that's things we discuss. That, that's one thing that, like, holding you back from No, no, Islam. no, it's not holding me back. Like, I, I don't mind being a sinner in that realm, but I know that everything else about me, like, like if, if I was to be put to the test by God, like, then I would, I wouldn't, like, I take accountability when I do sin. Like I can tell what's immoral and what's not moral. Do you get what I mean? Like, you see, yeah. So for for living a life, you you need to have the standard morality, which is what is right and what is wrong. And we believe there's the, the as Allah is creator, he know he I'll knows read the, the Quran best. If I still by the end of it, which I probably will, think that like sexuality is a choice, then I will maybe convert to Islam but still but you see so you you have the prejudiced mind before reading, reading the Quran so uh, be free in terms of intellectuality when you read yeah, the Quran yeah like, be free what it. Like, I'm not gonna if it does it make from, like, sense you see yeah, if then it accept sense, it if it makes sense then I will accept yeah yeah it. 
Allah give you the sound reasoning. Allah give you the. If you have the, you know, uh, if like you, you have the exemption before you've reading. You've given me some things that have made me warm up a little bit more, but like not enough. Do you get what I mean? It's yeah, not, yeah. It's not enough. Like you've made me warm up and be more open. Okay. And like. I, the thing is, I've been open, like, even today, my friend gave me the Quran, like, as in, like, the divine um, wisdom of yeah. love, uh, and, like, I'm open, I'm not closed, I'm not, I'm not closed off to anything. That's fine, um, there's, there's, there's really fine, there's, there's first to. step to know the yeah. truth, you know, there's the first step to understand the truth and the morality. Yeah? yeah. Any anyway, other question? nice to meet you, I need to there's, go, I'm Yeah, so that's late. fine, no problem, so no problem at all. No, we don't shake hands hand out of respect. We respect oh. the women. For example, I don't, I don't touch even any Muslim women. You don't hug. We don't hug. No, we we hug. We don't hug the women. We think there's the right of my wife. There's I need to I need to give her all the what things about I your do. Mom? I can hug my mom. Okay. I can hug my mom. I can hug my sister. I can hug my wife. What, I can... Your friend? No, the female friend. No. We don't. We don't hug. We see there's the it's the out of our family. Like my mother, yeah, obviously she is my mother. My, you know, sister, she is my sister. Your cousins? No, we don't have cousins. We don't have cousins. We believe that the within the the things is that uh, women you can marry, you cannot have without marriage. So you can marry your cousins. Yeah. We can marry our cousins, yeah. In Islam, we can marry our cousins. So women you can't hug or you can't touch or you can't even look in. So the, what do you think of incest? Then? No. We don't, we, don't, we don't believe that. You don't believe no, that? No, we don't, we don't believe that. It's one of the biggest sins. And we don't believe in you know having sex with uh, own mother or sister. But you can marry your cousin, so cousins. isn't that incest? No, according no, according to Islam, it, it's, it's not incest. But it, according to science, it is. According, what? According to science, it Which is. Which science like, says? There's a lot of studies done about um, how incest can cause like um, autism within like no 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 it's oh, we are not saying this that we're marrying three years four years five years cousins no they're adults and if they both agree no, no, they no, can I'm get not, married I'm not, about, I'm not talking about yeah young i'm talking about like like literally um my friend actually my friend is how uh, is first cousin first yeah. cousin marriage uh, and both of her brothers were born with um like autism, like severe autism. My brother has married, has married with, uh, you know. It's not. It's not always. Many years. It's not always. It's exception it's like, is not an example. It's um, exception doesn't make the, you know, doesn't no, make no, the no. rules. I'm not saying like it's like a, it's like a one in a thousand chance or one in a hundred chance or something like that. So so it's an exception. So exception doesn't break the rules, right? So my my father married with our cousins. So they have beautiful family. They are living. I don't personally, yeah. I, 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 I disagree with like sister and brother, but like no, that's what I'm saying. We don't, we don't, we don't agree to marry within own sisters or brothers, but in terms of cousins, it, it's allowed in Islam. But what if like you're born, you're born like you're raised together? Like, doesn't that like affect? Like you're raised you together, but raising together in Islam and raising together in any other religion is different. For example, if you're raised together. If, when I, it's uh, come to the puberty, you have you reached to your puberty. The boys reach to his, uh, you know, when they are become matured. So in that time, they can't hug each other even before marriage. So we don't have the sexual but you intimacy. Have, when does sexual intimacy begin? Then, no, I'm saying when you become adult, right? Yeah, adolescence. Yeah. When you have the adolescence, from that period of time, you have the feelings for but, the men. So like you were when you were like five years old, allowed to hug. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. So in okay. that time, it's, it's not. But like, there's, there's issue. like when you reach a the adolescence. Of people though, like for example, that are born hypersexual as kids. Um, we don't accept that. You don't. What do you mean you don't accept that? We don't. If we see that someone predator, you are, you are talking about the sexual predator who can. No, have, no, no. I'm talking about children who are literally like born hypersexual, like as in. It's the same again, it's an exception, so exception cannot break all the, all the things, you know? Exception, may, maybe someone can be, can, can have but some it's a, it's a, diseases. It's a, it's a lot of, a lot I understand, of yeah, I, I like agreed that. with you, I agreed yeah. with you. So in, in this case, obviously, we will we will separate. If, if Islam knows this boy has this, obviously, we'll know. Okay, okay. Yeah? Okay. Any other question? <laughs>
know. We'll have, I'll have more. I'll have more yeah, alright. So if you have more questions, you can come again, inshallah. Okay. We are in, in this week, we'll be there for whole week. What's you your can, name? My name is Naz, Najmul Islam. Najmul Islam, yeah. Nazmul. What does that mean? It's the star of Islam. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, love you to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Take care of us. Bye. Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. We have uh, a discussion with this lady about homosexuality, about the stuff Islam said, about women, men, marriage, all the stuff. She has many questions on, on her mind. May Allah guide her, you know. Uh, we can ask only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide her for all of us. May Allah accept our good deeds. May Allah forgive us for all of our sins. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.